Good morning, Eagles. It's Thursday, November 3rd, and these are your THTV morning announcements. Attention students, the Lost and Found is open by the front office. If you have lost any articles of clothing, please check out the table across from the front office. If you have lost smaller items, jewelry, folders, etc., please check in the front office. Clothing that is not claimed within two weeks will be donated to charity. El Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is a holiday that originated in Mexico to celebrate the death of loved ones. This holiday is celebrated from October 31st to November 2nd. Instead of a sad, evil holiday, these days focus on honoring the lives of the deceased. Well, the thing I like most about the celebration is the fact that people can come together and congregate to create an awesome altar for someone. My favorite part of the holiday is all the effort that the, the, the Mexicans go through, the money that they spend, all the decor, um, and the honor that they give to their loved ones um, who have passed. Ms. Garish's sixth hour Spanish three class was assigned to form groups and create altars dedicated to a deceased celebrity all in two weeks. To know more about this holiday, I asked what kinds of things were traditionally on these altars and what kind of foods were traditionally cooked. There's candles, different types of food that the past relative liked, and... Flowers. There's flowers, like marigolds. Mole negro, tamales, and pan de muertos, which is Day of the Dead Bread. To know more about this project, I asked each group about their altar. We did our altar on Prince because he was a very inspiring artist. He was self-taught. He was just a great man. Our Dia de los Muertos altar is dedicated to Selena Quintanilla, and our group chose her because she inspires us, and she continues to sp inspire girls today with her ambitions and her dreams. We were inspired to do Muhammad Ali because he wasn't just a boxer. He was also an activist. We chose Picasso because we wanted to incorporate all his artwork into the altar, and we thought it would be nice to have all the colors and display his artwork. The class's presentations of their altars were on Tuesday, November 1st after school. They were spaced around the drama room, giving every visitor a chance to go to each altar and letting all the groups present at once. Each project turned out to be amazing due to their hard work. The Christian Club crew will meet Monday at 2.45 or room 210. Now the Shantis will weather and birthdays. Today there will be a high of 62 and a low of 43. There are no birthdays today. Let's go back to Lauren for today's sports. Soccer banquet tickets are on sale now in the athletic office. They are $12 in advance and $13 at the door. Girls basketball trials will begin on Monday, November 7th from 6 to 7.30. Be sure to stop by the athletic office for additional dates and times. We got football, we got basketball, volleyball, robotics. Uh, they got a lot of dance team, step team, all that, whatever you really want. Like. Like, yeah, they got golf. I swear we got golf too. Who do basketball? Coach Bates. How do I get in contact Really, you can just go talk to Petty's office at any time. The gym, right? You go through that door out in there and go that way. Alright, text me the information about the robots that we have talking to Ms. Dunn. Alright, y'all. 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 Alright, and if you need some more information, there's some in the literature rack for you. Thurston has a lot of activities and athletics you can involve yourself in, so let's get active. Have a great day, Eagles. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.